Now, TNT Olympic Committee President Brian Lewis and his team ratified and accepted three late submissions by the N3As to add to Team TTO for this year's Olympics. However, the TTOC president laid bare the facts today that led up to the late submission, which could, which could ultimately affect the logistical planning of Team TTO's participation. We were a bit blindsided by events in the, in, in the last uh, 24 hours. TTOC President Brian Lewis summoned the press on Tuesday afternoon to announce three additions to Team TTO for the Tokyo Olympics. The TTOC has ratified and accepted the late submissions of Kai Selvan, Jonathan Farina and Jareem Richards for the relay events in Tokyo. It was submitted on Monday morning, we understand. But the N3A's handling of its quota for the Games came under scrutiny. Because these rules and guidelines didn't happen 24 hours before. It would have been part of every sport, would have had its manual. This is now the largest Team TTO contingent in history. Brian Lewis went further to state that the matter may not be put to rest just yet. The TTOC now have to take a look at... The TTOC now have breach of protocol and process, which I might add on that... The TTOC now has to take a look at that breach. Though Lewis and his team accepted the late submission, he says it puts the strain on the process. It just makes the logistics more complicated. It, it just, it just, you know, every change you make at this point, as I said, it, 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 it heightens the personal responsibility and self-discipline. Lewis says athletes must never pay the price for administrative blunders. An athlete's aspiration, dreams, and hopes to be dashed by administrative and bureaucratic failures. The new team will be released in the coming hours, perhaps increasing Team TTO's chances of precious metal in Tokyo.